Welcome, in this video I want to take a look at how you can deploy LangGuardian on VMware ESX 6.5 and monitor traffic from a physical span or mirror port. My name is Dara Delaney from Netfort. So just before I start, I want to talk about some of the terms I cover in this video. So what I want to do here is I want to connect my physical network, so I have a span port set up, or sometimes referred to as a mirror port. I've that, that, got that connected to a specific physical interface on my ESX host. And what I want to do is connect it up to my virtual LAN Guardian, which I'm going to install so that the traffic from the physical network can get processed by that LAN Guardian. So we have within the ESX environment, we have virtual switches and I'm going to create a new one. And we also have port groups and I'm going to create a port group on that virtual switch so that we can enable what's called promiscuous mode. So let's now go download the software and get it LangGuardian installed. Now the first step to get LangGuardian installed is to download the, download the LangGuardian software from Netfor.com. So if you go to the website, click the red download trial button here, fill in the form, you get to this page. Now there are three options, ISO, USB or a virtual machine. I recommend you go for the virtual machine. It's the most convenient, quickest way. If you want to tinker with the settings, more CPUs or memory, you can download the ISO, but you can always mess change the virtual machine after as well. So select the virtual machine, download now, and save the OVA image somewhere on your laptop or PC. So I do that. The next stage then is to go and log on to my ESX server where I'm going to host on Guardian. Just log on here. Before I do any software installation, I want to configure networking. So to do that, click on the networking tab on the left, then go to the virtual switch tab here at the top and add a new virtual switch. So we're going to call it the span switch. And this is important bit here is we need to select what network card is connected to this. So VMNIC4 is connecting to my physical spam port on my switch, which is out in the, you know, my, my core switch. So that's connected to the switch and I'm now going to connect that to this virtual switch. We add that. The next step is I'm going to go to port groups and I'm going to add a port group and we're going to call it um, monitoring group. The virtual switch here will select the span switch and the important bit here is to make sure you enable or accept promiscuous mode. This is a special mode which allows pack capture. So monitoring group span switch add. So that's done. So I now have a virtual switch connected to my physical switch and I have promiscuous mode set up. So I now uh, can move on to deploy the virtual machine. So I create a register VM deploy from OVA, select the LangGuardian, I've downloaded, that's it there, give it a name, next, select a data store, so I'm going to go with the VM drive here, next, now this is the important bit uh, at this point to get the network mapping right, so VM network, we need to select that to my management um, V switch. So this, whatever you put VM network on, that needs to be something that you can access from your browser. The office span here, that's the um, connection back to physical switch. We've created monitoring group for it. So that's fine. So this is very important to get right. First one is your management. Second one is your, your span or mirror port. Next. That all looks fine. Finish. So it goes off now and it deploys that LAN Guardian. Now we can go into it and we can take a look at the console. So it's just waiting for uh, waiting for it to power up. Just go in here and see, can we see the console yet? Oh, it's still deploying. So we just have to wait for it to deploy. And once it's deployed, it will automatically start up. It's just up here at 83%. So next step, there's a, there's a little bit of waiting while we um, boot up the new LAN Guardian and then we log on and we want to change its IP address. So it says LAN Guardian is starting. So this step here, depending on the speed of your ESX host, it could take a minute or two. 
So just going to wait and we want to wait for a screen to come up where we've got a number of options and we want because what we want to do is go in and configure the IP address. Okay, this is the screen I was waiting for. So as you can see it says press enter to enter the utility menu. We just need to click in here and press enter. And we want to choose option number six. And then we want to give it an IP address. So I'm going to go for 10.1.1.203. Now don't, you don't need to give it this one, but something on your network that you can access from your browser. Give it that network mask, which is fine. Default gateway. And DNS server should be fine. And now return. So we're finished within the console here. Now we need to go to a browser and we need to complete the installation. 203. So here we've got the installer wizard. So we're just going to step through this here. So we agree with licensing terms, live with diagnostic feedback. If you want to leave that on, it's fine. If you use a proxy, uh, now's the time to set that. So Langarden can connect to the internet. I don't, so I'm just going to go next. It can access the internet fine. So at this point here, it checks the sensor. Now the sensor is the interface which is connected back to my span port. Sure. So I should start to see some activity here. Now, not much happening on my network, so the volumes are low, but at least I can see something. Finish. And then we log on. Now the password is administrator. I'd recommend you change that once you, you've set up. Just dismiss that message. Uh, you can change the password here via account settings. So I'm not going to see a whole lot um, when I log on initially. It just takes a couple of minutes. So you're looking at maybe five to 10 minutes to get some meaningful uh, data in the reports. Now, if you want to kind of, if you're in a rush and you want to check it, just run one of these reports here and you can see that we are starting to pick up traffic. So some interesting things coming in already. Um, somebody's got a BitTorrent client running and we can drill down here and make sure that we actually see some IP addresses. We actually see people going to Mozilla, Google. Um, so within seconds, actually, I got some data. But to get some meaningful data, um, you know, decent quantities, you should wait five to 10 minutes. So that's your LangGuardian setup, connected back to your spam port. It's now processing traffic, doing intrusion detection, watching out for anomalies. And in other videos we've published, you'll be able to take a look at how you can use the product. And you know, if you find bandwidth issues, security problems, whatever it is, we, we've got some videos on our website or on our YouTube channel.